There's approximately 900 to 1,000 geysers still active in the world, and over 500 of those are in Yellowstone. What we're looking at here is a hydrothermal area. Hydro meaning water, thermal meaning heat. And the heart of all the hydrothermal areas in the park, all the geyser basins, is the Yellowstone volcano because it's supplying the unusual amount of heat necessary to have features like this. We're approaching the artist's paint pot thermal area in the north central portion of Yellowstone National Park. You can see from the steam plumes around that this is a pretty hot and interesting area. We've done a lot of work in this area. We respond to questions about changes. If some of our other rangers say, hey, things are getting really hot in an area, we come out, confirm those observations, and then we start bringing a lot of scientific gear. We can bring thermal infrared cameras that sense heat. We take temperatures, we take geothermal gas measurements, we measure water flow, we can do geochemistry. This camera is a way to visualize heat the total heat output of these and the changing heat patterns is how we monitor changes in the hydrothermal system of Yellowstone. This might be an interesting place. We have uh, basically all four types of thermal features in this area. We have some very sporadic geysers, we have hot springs, we have mud pots and then we have steam vents. And this is a great place to see the interaction of all those. There is no typical area in Yellowstone. Everything is uh, different and all you have to do is use your eyes and your ears for the sounds, the smells, and keep an open mind and you'll see how very different each thermal area is. We have a pool here that's at the boiling temperature of water for this altitude, and that's 92 Celsius, or about 200 Fahrenheit. So this is a great example of how a geyser eruption occurs. This is a recharge phase. The pool's getting hotter, then it starts rapidly boiling, and if there were a narrow conduit here, you would then have a geyser eruption. It has a very explosive, volcanic past, it has very active hydrothermal systems. It's good to monitor, to try to understand, and appreciate that there is that raw power. Eventually, Yellowstone, in hundreds of thousands or millions of years, will probably end up looking like the Snake River Plain. And the thing is, is can we do anything about it? No. Uh, can we understand the processes better? Yes. Yellowstone is an amazing place to study. There is so much to be learned here that scientists from microbiology, from volcanology, from uh, all sorts of types of geophysics are coming here to study and learn in this very natural laboratory and then take what they learn and apply it to other areas around the world.